Hey, we're back with the second episode of AEW Dark Elevate or AEW Dark, not Elevation, just AEW Dark. I decided to um, cut out the first part just because it's like this match is going to take longer than 10 minutes. If this match ends in 10 minutes, I will eat my shorts. Which is why it won't take longer than 10 minutes. Or it will take longer than 10 minutes. I can't eat my shorts. And here comes Chris Jericho, the pain maker. And you gotta think that Jericho is low in this opportunity to get after Kenny Omega, giving him a potential glimpse of what's to come in the future. Jericho's been trying to work his way back up the match card to get to the top of the division here at AEW. Oh, what an ovation for Killer Cross. Is Cross cheered? Or is Moxley the good guy or bad guy in their feud? I think I did alright with giving Killer Cross his hair. And in comes the man shrouded in darkness. I just want to watch the entrance again. I'm sorry. I just I've taken so much time with working on Malachi Black's entrance that I think it's one of my favorite entrances I've ever created. It gives off just enough of the of the movie and the camera angle is shot perfectly thanks to the Demon King Finn Balor's entrance. And then Malachi Black being summoned from hell. And he's completely in darkness for now. And Until in the just a little bit of light being displayed at the very Black. end. Oh, I just love it. And then the fire that surrounds Malachi Black. As he walks down, he's basically walking through the pits of hell, making his way into the ring. Man who comes through fire and smoke. He's an absolutely terrifying individual to face off against. It's almost like he's a death omen. You know that your that your number is being called when you see Malachi Black on that oh that stare that will give anyone nightmares. Look at it; it's almost like Malachi Black summons the flames. And you look how close he is to the heat. He shows no fear of getting hit himself with the flames. I just slowly make his way in the ring. I hate that part though, because I remember back in the day they would cut they would cut the camera away to the crowd, and it would, at least it, it made it it make sense. Where now it's just like, all right, I'm in. Now I gotta quickly sit down. And the flames of hell being burnt as Malachi Black we await. Andrade El Idolo. Goodbye. I thought I saw Bobby Fish. Who's next? So many bad guys here. Oh, Matt Hardy. Oh, I was like, wait, I saw Bobby Roode's thing, but I was like, he's not in this matchup. And I was like, oh yeah, Matt Hardy. Big money man. Hi, hi, so many people waving to me. I fear there's many, there's a lot of villains in AEW here. Oh yeah, let's keep Sabian. And from England, super bad, keep Sabian. This kid could need, a, could need a regroup after his uh, defeat from uh, 
Uh, Jay White, who has the AEW Global Champion now. A little more baby face on, the, on this uh, match here. And their opponent. That's this Brian Cage. Who is a baby face? Jericho Stare. Oh! Jericho Stare right in the face of Malachi Black, the pain maker. And Malachi Black. Jericho just scraping his forearm against Malachi. He's had the upper hand so far in this matchup here. Malachi now. The worst but scariest part about Malachi Black is he can end your night in an instant with a day of reckoning, as well as his speed and just his death stare. It's just it's intimidating to look at him. When he, show, when he shows how cold he is. But Jericho, the Painmaker, no intimidation at all. Oh, and Malachi tosses cross. Jericho with a go behind from Malachi. We're looking at the nail, I believe, a German suplex. Malachi Black hits the escaped it. Oh, I'm going for a choke hold on Chris Jericho. Malachi trying to show Jericho what true pain is all about. There's a certain arrogance from Malachi Black, which is intimidating and scary when you feel like that he's just sometimes not even trying. He's just toying with you. Malachi was looking for a poke to the eyes here of Jericho. Oh, roll up there. I didn't even see that one. I've got to keep my eyes open here. Oh, Malachi with a float over TDT. Jericho got caught again. Malachi now looking for a suplex position. Jericho catches him with a lead. And follows up with a big time big boot on the chest of Malachi. Before Jericho now catching that hard in the walls of Jericho, but Ryan Cage knows that could be a, a sudden doom there. Oh, Hardy slapping Malachi across the face. Oh, Ryan Cage with the F10. Oh, kick right to the stomach there. Now Malachi hits Brian Cage up. Big boot straight to the face. Oh Jesus. Both the pain maker and the nightmare. Nah, that's just stupid. The night taker. <laughs> I was trying to think of something that rhymed with pain maker for Malachi. The Day of Reckoning! Jericho got hit with the Day of Reckoning! But Kenny Omega, I honestly forgot Kenny Omega was in this matchup here. Oh shoot, is, Jer is Jericho injured or is that uh, just the regular redhead? I think that's just regular redhead. Oh, I miss this matchup. It's full on chaos. That was dumb of me. I didn't see who, who was where. No, I want Jericho. Oh, breaking the eyes to Malachi, which appears to cut the face of Jericho. Perhaps he was clawing at the head. Oh, there's the code breaker! Oh, Kenny, one winged angel has got Killer Cross. But Brian Cage quickly broke that up. I don't think Kenny actually had the pin. All eight competitors in the ring here. And are you looking for a twist of fate? Malachi, out and out of it. On the cross jacket. Cross jacket in place. Oh, 
Malachi Exploder Suplex. Okay. A oh, roundhouse kick. No, face counters. And Malachi breaking at the face of Brian Cage now. And you see the chaos that is on display at this matchup, and it feels like that Malachi Black is complete control. Oh, what I should have been doing this entire time. Going after Kenny Omega says, ready for me. Killer Cross quickly to break up the pit. Andrade El Idolo hit the apron DDT on Chris Jericho. Well, okay, Brian, I see you. And now Cross, or excuse me, Alakai with the Brain Buster being nailed there. And Kip Sabian with Deathly Hallows. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I just said R2. Okay, come on, let me look at who I want to look at. Brain Buster there from Jericho. I'm, I think in a match like this, I should be just watching it all the time. Oh, slap there from Jericho. And Cross gets sent over the top rope. Boom! So quickly there, it was German suplex there, suplex there from Malachi. All roll through from Malachi. Everyone's everyone's out. Oh, that would have been a, a great and great timing there from Malachi. I need to look at you, Kip. Oh, drop kick the leg. Malachi, no. Now, not no. Ascends the top rope for a diving elbow strike. Took way too much time there. Oh, Malachi, knee right in the face there. Great combination. And now Jericho. Let's keep saying we got plenty of the. GTS and the penalty kick. Oh no! Jericho rolled out. You were my ticket to win. What's the part? Moon Salt City. Oh, cross with the counter, and he sizes up Malachi Black. Oh, the Black Saw coming, we're looking for Claw. Oh, Wall Blow there! And remember, it's all legal. Kip Sabian nails the Wall Blow. That may be the thing that stops Malachi Black, but not at all. Lifting up Kip Sabian for the Day of Reckoning. Both Brian Cage and Matt Hardy quickly got inside the ring there. Malachi elevates himself on the top rope. Oh, and Matt Hardy just a barrage of strikes there against Malachi Black. Ah, oh, asshole. Now the figure four is on, on display here. Jack with the power bomb. Nope. <laughs> got the fuck out. Flying knee strike. And into the release German suplex there. Another German. Malachi going German crazy. Okay. Sunset flip. Referee still down and out though. No pinfall can be made. Ryan Cage with a power bomb. 
uh, into a pin pinning predicament. Who are you targeting, kid? I can't get Jericho from there. I'm right here in front of you. Oh, another love boat! Uh, Doomsday Saido! I almost forgot to sing. Death, Deathly Hollows. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> this is a referee. Poor guy. <laughs> this matchup has been absolutely killer! And Malachi. Oh! Jesus! Do it, Kenny. I dare you. Hit the one wing angel. Don't go for the cover. Damn it! <laughs> no! Down, how do I bring it down? Uh, wait. No, how do I, how do I bring it down? Don't, oh, just the, there it is. Oh my god, no! No! <laughs> oh my god. I said do it, Kenny. Hit the one-winged angel! Kenny hit the ver a version of the V-trigger. Hit the one-winged angel! And I was like, bring it, bitch. <laughs> Too close. We need, to, we need to zoom out. We need to zoom out. Uh, zoom out. Let it zoom out. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. That is just... Oh, my God. I just love it because, like, you don't feel like a... <laughs> Referee just got back up. Boom! <laughs> the day of reckoning hits from Malachi Black. Oh, how long is this referee gonna be out now? Did they pick him up? I don't know. Oh, this is the beat my finisher. Oh no, but that one did. Jesus, must haunt me. And now taking Malachi on a strict Jesus the rotation in there. Right, he's open up bad there. And now Kenny. Shit, no, wrong guy. Oh no! Homer! A strike of cage! Oh, that's not even an escape. That was just. I, I, I fell out. Oh, the code breaker from Jericho! Oh, Larry in there! I think that busted open Omega there! No, I thought Jericho was looking for the juice, in fact he would have got it if he had the stamina. This cost for Jericho. Oh! Now, Kenny Omega got out of Malachi Black's grip. And Omega, deadlift, powerbomb! Okay. Okay. We got a cover. Anyone got a cover? No. All right. 
Now, ref, don't get... What are you doing? Oh, no. The target of somebody else is dead. I've got plenty of choices here. Fine, we'll work with you, Kip. And a temporary alliance here from Kip Sabian and Malachi Black. Okay, that didn't work. Remember, it's suplex. No! That's the day of reckoning! No! This is again! Malachi going repeatedly for this move. Day of reckoning! No! Reckoning! Malachi catches the champion! Oh, that would have that should have been it! That would have been a perfect message that says, hey Kenny, I already got a pin on you. Into the backbreaker position. All oh, cross has got the cross jacket! Would be like that? What the fuck? Oh, okay, thanks, Brian. Make me feel wanted at least. Brian Cage, what the? Look at that strength! Holding up Malachi Black for a stalling super ply, super sized superplex. Alright, who wants it? Who wants it? Alright, looks like you're the lucky winner of Brian Cage, and by lucky, I mean you're not! Fair of reckoning! Oh no, Johnny's right there! Damn it! Oh, Killer Cross! Knock me off the apron! He's gonna knock me off the. Yeah, I guess it would be the ring apron. God, sorry, I'm like trying to commentate, but at the same time, it's like I'm trying to focus here on what's going on. So much happening here. Oh, Andrade could not keep carry Malachi Black anymore. The exhaustion and the abuse that his body has taken. Doomsday said, you know. So at the last second there, Andrade sends Malachi Black into the ring. Oh, Kip save with GTS. And in for the soccer kick. Break this up somehow. Malachi into the cover. A submission on display. A cover was made. Malachi seems intent on going after Kenny Omega. Perhaps a message is being sent, being delivered. It says, I'm knocking on your door and I will see you any minute. Jericho does not want to be overtaken by Malachi Black. He also has Kenny Omega in his sights as well, too. Oh, look at this. Jericho. Lion Tamer. Okay. Oh, Cross one up with me. All right. This is cool. Try to take advantage, even though I just, you know, I wasn't doing the submission. This is what I I'm going to go to. Brian Cage is the ring to himself. Every man down, some man on the outside. It's Brian Cage's picking. Pickings as to who he wants. Malachi Black still down and Kip Samuel looking to go on the attack on Malachi. Oh, but Matt Hardy. Drop kick there. Larian. Trip. Oh, you bitch, you ruined that. Oh, the 
Doomsday Saito! It was a good move. Set that I was doing that. Oh, Omega knee strike in the corner there. Kenny's got the leg trapped. Going for the submission on that Hardy. The cross had the cross jacket locked in as well. Oh, come on, Malachi. Oh, and the cross jacket. German. Where do you think you're going? Oh, ho, ho. save you for later. A big knee strike from Malachi Black, who sends Tim Sammy. Oh, okay. Shit, I was looking at the right man. Roundhouse kick. Oh, no, don't you. Kenny. Boom! Damn, right me. Oh, I broke it up. Damn it. Oh, oh man. And Jericho's injured, we see that one. Oh my god. That was so close and so cool. Again, I think that's what I'm going for. I want Mal if I'm gonna win, I want Malachi to pin Kenny Omega. I mean at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter who I pin, but it's even cooler if I get it on Kenny. Drop kick the leg, Malachi was thinking. Oh! Hip saving! Deathly Hallows! No offense to Pip Sabian, but I think he's the guy that I did not see winning this matchup. And so far, it's not Pip's time to win. Oh, jumping knee strike there. Roundhouse kick! Kenny! You're mine. Damn, Rocky No! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, you fucking... Oh, you asshole. I knew that was coming. Oh, Damn it. I knew that was happening. There's a step puller. I'm kidding. Damien. Oh my god. Close to Brian Cage with a Yoranage slam. Oh, I didn't want to go after I didn't want to go after Kenny, but Oh, Brian Cage looking for weapon X. Johnny El Ido and Malachi Black working together there simultaneously. But Black only has one tag team partner. Well, technically has two, but you know what I meant. Oh! I don't know where Kenny came from, but he just got me and Matt Hardy at the same time there. Watch out, referee. You're in big trouble here. Can't even see what's going on. Oh, Andrade Elito with the with the German. All eight competitors inside the matchup right now. Hip Sabian looking for Jesse Hollows. He nails it on Kenny Omega. Oh, the F10 from Brian Cage was looking to land. Oh, Andrade with a handspring Pele kick. Jose Saito. It. Boom, stop on Cage! Spine buster there from Cross. Pip Sabin almost pulling this out of his back pocket. Sabin has the most perfect opportunity right now. Everyone's down. Oh, 
I see you, Kenny. Come for you. Hey, that's my bitch. Oh no, you don't, Andre! Now let's tear into the turban!
Lana can't roll out. Jesus. Oh, no, kid's gonna go move stop. That's too far, kid. That's too far. And I can't counter it. Because I'm still on too far. Thank you, Cross. Andrade Alito is at the second one. I didn't see winning this matchup, but they kind of kick Silver on Andrade. They're, they're putting an R here. See how long has this match been? Sorry. Jesus, almost a full hour for part three. We still have one more match to go. I hope you guys enjoy these matches. Like, it, like they're explosive and chaotic for me. I absolutely love them. Oh, I'm driving with the moon so I didn't mean to go to the top rope, but I guess we'll see what happens. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get something. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep trying getting. Oh, it looks as moon stuff from two. Oh, I see him, Matt. Typical Matt Hardy tries to steal the victory. <laughs> it's okay, so did I. But as we saw earlier, oh, my friend got knocked down. It wasn't my fault. Oh, Jesus, I can't put the eyes in the back of his head. One gets knocked down, and then I'm glad he says, I'll hold him now. Submission. Robin! That was crazy. Oh, 
distract yourself, kid. Damn, Frank, get, get distracted, kid. Do something. Yes! No! Oh, he's the champion! Oh, oh yes! Here is your winner, Black. Yes! Oh! Malachi Black sends the message, pins the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. Oh my god, that was fucking awesome! Oh, oh my god. That was fucking great. I can't believe it. I, I wasn't expecting to pin uh, Kenny Omega. I wasn't even expecting to win, but holy shit. Oh, God. I'm watching this back. Holy crap. That was intense. And we'll still have time to do an episode of AEW Dynamite before the actual show starts. Holy crap, we need the break. Red Dragon takes on the Immortals so I can actually commentate. Holy crap, I mean, that that was probably our most legendary eight-man style matchup. I mean, that almost took up the whole episode. Holy shit. And I mean, we, we skipped pretty much all the entrances. Except we watched Malachi Blacks, you know, because I just wanted to. Oh my god. I did, I'm sorry, that just, that was unbelievable. I told myself I wanted to pin Kenny, and then I was like, you know what, I give up. I just want to pin anyone. And then it ended up being Kenny at the end. Knocked down Brian Cage with a roundhouse kick. And then I was like, you know what, let's just do it. Let's just try it. I got Kenny, and for some reason, Kip did not go to break it up. Thank you, Kip. Because I wanted the match to be over. Ladies and gentlemen, how the hell do you top that? Well, we're going to try to top that with our main event of the evening. Red Dragon takes on the Immortals. Rex Shaw, Danny Nightmare. Why are they baby faces? Seriously. If Jeff Hardy's a heel, so are you guys supposed to be as well, too. Well, let's do let's see what these guys can do. We've seen the Immortals t take down the take down the ROH Tag Team Champions two weeks in a row. Let's see if they can defeat the AEW Tag Team Champions. That will put them severely high in the rankings, you'd have to imagine. Kyle O'Reilly pushes off Rex Shaw. Great show of power there from O'Reilly. And it appears right now O'Reilly nails his specialty. Traps the arm, tap, traps the leg. Just a little bit of limb target working right there. Oh no, actually that was uh, Dax who was, you know, really targeting the arms and the legs of, uh, of Rex. I'll go for a powerbomb! O'Reilly! It seems that Red Dragon is having a, um, I don't want to say a better effort than FTR is, but they're having a better start than they have. Look! Nice forearm smash there, O'Reilly. Really working full body parts there. Got the leg and now traps the arm. Oh, smashes it against the knee. Comes down hard there. Rex Shaw, great counter there. Oh, into the spinning elbow strike there. And out goes Kyle O'Reilly, who comes back inside. Oh, both men missing their strikes. O'Reilly sends Rex to the ringside apron there. But he waits to get back in. Wrong time to 
uh, stretch yourself, I guess. Kyle O'Reilly just staring at Rex Shaw. Perhaps he's playing it smart. Don't get too close to there as he saw the Danny Nightmare try to take a strike. It didn't matter because Rex Shaw got it. Well, the overhand belly to belly throw. And it appears that Rex Shaw will allow Bobby Fitt. That was pretty cool. Both men came in with tags. Bobby Fish now and Danny Nightmare. Two of the freshest opponents here right now. Flying form, smash there. Nice, nice work, movement there from Bobby Fish. And it appears that Red Dragon right now has the upper hand over the Immortals. Danny Nightmare quickly going top rope. Elevation, which is where he feels at home, is on that top rope. He's one of the fastest wrestlers we have here at AEW. But Bobby Fish using his speed and his, and his striking capability to his display here. Way to tap Danny Nightmare, who goes for a neck breaker. Follows it up with the backward splash. Don't know really what to call that. I wouldn't call it a moonsault per se. Kick the inside leg there from Danny Nightmare. Grabs the arm, locks the leg around the head. Danny T. Bobby Fish busted open. And again, we always have that concern for Bobby Fish. His head has not had a chance to really heal at all. We already saw that unfortunately Rey Mysterio has had to be taken out of action due to injury. We would rather not see the same happen to our AEW Tag Team Champions and Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Remember if Bobby Fish is to have an injury, Red Dragon would have to relinquish the Tag Team Championships. Well that's definitely not something that we want to see. We want to see the titles be changed hands fairly. Not saying that they will change hands, but we want to see them done. Oh God! The Immortals just wrestling. In, they're wrestling in completely in sync right now, keeping Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly pretty much almost always in their corner. Nice tag there from Danny Nightmare. I swear, these guys, Danny Nightmare, Rex Shaw. I didn't even plan on them becoming a tag team, so. I just feel like I want to talk a little bit about them. So, I created these guys, and they just, you know, were supposed to be nothing more than just their own characters. When I put them together in a feud, you know, and this was in a separate universe mode, um, I put them together in a feud, and they started to become allies, and actually started be and became a tag team. And so, I kept them together because, I don't know, they're just, it's so cool, and like, they're working so in sync right now. How they play off each other's styles and they're making quick tags. I'm just so proud how it's like becoming so dynamic. You're barely, it doesn't seem like effortless. Like you're having to force them to be in a team. They're just doing it by themselves as computers. That's not too much to say. <laughs> I apologize. Let's just get back to calling the action. Oh, the dragon cutter! I'm legit actually worried for Bobby Fish's head because I'm not protecting him. Oh, accidental contact there between Danny Nightmare and Rex Shaw, but you saw that uh, Danny called him off and played a little apology there. He's going for a legs. Bobby Fish's cut has gotten even worse, and now Jeff Hardy causes the distraction. But not enough as Bobby Fish escapes the electric hair position. If that was Bobby Fish though, I would go for the tag for Kyle O'Reilly. He needs that. What he doesn't need is to be doing this. This is not gonna be good. Outside Superplex. What time are we on? 49 minutes. I forgot who I forgot who the bald guy was. And I was like, who's that? And I was like, oh yeah, that's Byron Sexton. Nice drop kick there from the fish. Wait, why was why was he, why was he looking at the at the ring apron? 
Don't tell me Danny Nightmare is refusing to get on the on the ropes for Rex Shaw. If he refuses to play ball, and puppets for the pile driver. Rex Shaw put himself up. Okay, good. I thought I thought that uh, Danny Nightmare was gonna get down and be like, "Hey, man, I don't want to team with you no more." It's like that's not how this works. I was like, "You guys are like super close to being tag team champions here. Don't fuck this up." Oh, Bobby Fish now goes for the tag. Smart move. Get out of the ring. Oh, wait a sec. The final chapter. Oh wait, no, the final chapter, that was a uh, freaking Authors of Pain's uh, finishing move. Called. Damn it. I don't know what uh, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly's finisher is called. And I was just thinking about calling it the final chapter as a, as a substitute. Uh oh. What now? Oh, I gotta edit their team moves because that. Again, I never expected uh, Rex Shaw and Danny Nightmare to become a tag team. So I gotta change that one out. Oh, no, it's just gonna be another drop toe hold, an elbow drop. Oh, I didn't see this coming. Wow. Such a foot bomb. And now, Rex shot in for the Dragon Cutter! Bobby Fish. Oh my god. Can't believe the Immortals here. Both men working so in sync right now. This is like great tag team action here. I can't believe that. I can't believe these guys. They just work so well together. Oh! They didn't get all of that, but got enough to collide with each other. Heads colliding. Danny Nightmare and Kyle O'Reilly both down. Who's going to be able to make it to their feet first? It appears that Danny Nightmare will make it to his feet first. Kyle O'Reilly, though, nice escape there. Oh! Looking for an elbow, running elbow attack. Oh, kick to the backside from O'Reilly. Oh, Brain Buster City! Referee refusing. Referee not counting, I believe, that Jeff Hardy again causing the distraction. And O'Reilly with the guillotine. Got the leg strapped. There it is, the guillotine chokehold. And Dan Nightmare quickly breaks out of that one. Readjust, you know, working his head. Whoa. Sunset flip pin. One. Two. All in one. Two. Oh, that was close for both competitors there. Oh, nice just straight jam in the face. Going for that elbow strike there. Super kick from O'Reilly. Roundhouse kick to the the buy there. Looking for Insiguri. Time limit are we on? 54 minutes, it's okay. Ooh, nice combination there from Kyle O'Reilly. Still breaking down Danny Nightmare here. Sends him into the corner of him and Bobby Fish. Oh, Tiger Suplex! I believe the balls of Danny Nightmare's feet were on the ropes there just enough to, to get the rope break there. Yeah, I just still have some concern for Bobby Fish's head here, man. I mean, on the plus side, if, if, if uh, he does get injured, we'll have to do a, uh, a tag team tournament. We'll have to figure something out. 
And there's plenty of tag teams. Oh, the fish. Oh, looking for a spinning roundhouse kick. Uh oh. That's a skipper from the fish. Go oh, in a single knee buster. Oh, I was looking for the tag there. And he almost got it, but Danny Nightmare brought him down at the very last second before Bobby Fish could make the the skid on skid contact. Yes, I did say that. The Dragon Splitter! I will rather not want to get involved in this matchup at all. You can't see, sorry. Uh, I, I keep forgetting that you can't see the body of the uh, of the competitors unless you're playing the matchup. Oh, Bobby Fish, deadlift into a sit-out power by position. See them, like, nobody looking to break the pinfall here. This isn't WWE rules, guys. You're allowed to uh, get in the ring more than once, you know. Maybe we'll call this the last call. Bang! Oh man, the Immortals keep standing up and breaking that pinfall. Making it much harder for Red Dragon. And unfortunately there is no Adam call out at ringside for Red Dragon. As he's as he had to rest up, his leg is just being worked on. And check out by our doctors backstage. Al O'Reilly sends Danny Nightmare on the ring apron. Trying to assess the situation, trying to make out a plan of to what to do. Brings him in the hard way. Suplex. There you go. Kyle O'Reilly. Alright, let's check the time limit. We don't know tell me on the upper corner where it finishes, sorry. These guys definitely trying to earn the spot of the, oh the dragon cutter! Trying to earn the spot of the thumbnail, but unfortunately I think the eight-man style match. Why is why is Hannah distracting the referee? Your your man, your man got the job done. He, he went for the cover. That's your partner. Jeff Hardy running around the ring like this head like a like a chicken with his head cut off. I'm not sure exactly what's happening right now. Getting nightmares just staring into the eyes of Bobby Fish. Perhaps trying to intimidate him. I don't I don't know. Uh-oh. Coming at it again with the last call. And for the cover one, two. And Danny Nightmare kicks out very last second here. Elbow strike to the ribs. Got Bobby Fish by the hair and the back of his neck. Snapmare takedown. A kick right to the back there. Well, I was going to end this video.